Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's all my contact information, my new March host code, and my Facebook business page. Please join. Um, and my YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, watch to the end, um, because there's an algorithm that it's important if you watch to the end, and then share it with all of your stamping friends. So what are we doing today? Well, a technique I learned from one of my stamping friends, Akemi Gary, and I learned this technique a long time ago and I forgot all about it. It is called the faux silk technique, and I don't know if you can see the background. It looks like fabric. Um, so we are going to learn that today. I am using the Easter Lily stamp set and the dies that go with it from the mini catalog and the Excellent Eggs stamp set for the saying of the Happy Easter. We are going to use a piece of gorgeous grape, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I already attached a piece of four by five and a quarter daffodil. So you've got grape and daffodil delight from our Brights collection. Now I have a piece of basic white which is um, three and three quarter by five. I'm going to have a piece of our adhesive sheets um, that you can find in the back of the catalog. And you notice I cut it just a teeny tiny bit smaller, like I'm talking a tiny bit. I have a piece of tissue paper and it is just white tissue paper I got at the dollar store. And if it has a little bit of something in it, that's okay. Not a problem. Um, you know, see my little wrinkle there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stamp all over this piece of tissue paper. I'm using Daffodil Delight, and I'm using this stamp. And I'm gonna make sure um, I didn't go around the edges as much as I wished I had. So I'm gonna really try to make sure I'm getting all the edges stamped and it's a little bit bigger than I need not a lot and I'll show you how I'm just going to um, take the rest of that and just kind of trim it around the bottom okay that should be pretty good I've got around the edges um, so the next thing is one of my favorite parts. I didn't wet this. You can see it's kind of dry. Uh, my next part is really fun. It's a really hard part of this one is you just crumple it all up. And uh, it seems like a weird thing to do, but you crumple it because you want all of those crinklies in there. I don't know if that's a real word, crinklies. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to the side and take my um, piece of basic white. You notice with the adhesive sheets, there are some strips. If I'm good with my classes, I will cut them so that they're going this way instead of vertical, but I didn't do that for myself. So I'm going to peel that one off. And this is a great tip that Akemi shared. Peel it off and put this one on first. This is probably one of the hardest parts. Okay, then I'm gonna lift this up and peel the other half off and push it down. If there's any part of that lapping over, you can just trim it off with your scissors, but I think I did pretty good. Oops, I got a little yellow on there. And I definitely, or, this dries out really quick, so you have to keep those pretty wet, and I didn't. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take my Take Your Pick tool, and I'm just going to lift up a corner very gently, and you can see that there is the adhesive, um, which I'm going to use to carefully put down my piece. I cut it a little bit bigger because then you have a little bit of wiggle room. Now you don't want it to, you don't want to flatten those crinkles. You want those crinkles to be in there because that gives you that fun technique. 
So now, this was a Cammy's idea, and I thought it was a great one. Just, just fold this over. If you try to cut it, oh, golly gee, um, the, the paper just rips all over the place. So she just carefully folded it on all sides. Now she made a different card with the um, eggs, which was gorgeous. Um, and she inspired me to try this technique. I have a technique class. Um, and so I thought, oh, this would be perfect for that group of people. So really just kind of folding that in. And then what I'm going to do is pick whichever way I like it the best. See, I probably could have come down a little bit. I'm really okay with that, but I could have. And I'm going to put a little bit on the edges so it sticks as well as in the middle of the card. You notice I'm using a little bit of green glue. Um, sometimes I find that these kind of techniques really work best when you have a little liquid glue. Um, it just adheres it better. All right, so now, and I can come back and kind of make sure I got it all folded up. I'm going to adhere it. So I think I did pretty good with the top. It's the bottom that I'm sticking to. Not doing as great. So I'm going to kind of push that down. And I use my take your pick tool like that. This edge doesn't have a lot of room to fold down. So you just kind of fiddly fussing. That's a word, fiddly fussing. Um, that's my word anyway. Um, just kind of pushing it down. When I do it on camera, the first one I made just did perfect. This one, of course, I'm having a little trouble. So you just use, you just come through and, and push it down. Not a problem. Of course, now my hands are sticky because I got glue on them. Let's see if I can get that part down. There we go. Oops, almost, almost, so close. So I, you could try, um, try trimming it with your scissors. You could. Um, I just found that it ripped real easy, and I was having more of a mess. And I'm almost there. Than doing this. Okay, I'm gonna go on, but you know I'll probably come back and work on this later because you know that. Oh, maybe I got it. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with the next part? I have the Scallop Contours dies. I have that in Gorgeous Grape. This is a three-quarter inch piece that I stamped the Happy Easter and just trimmed it, and it fits nicely. I have a Easter Lily with a little stem here. What I did about this is I kind of got a sense on where I want to put the stem and I put a little bit of green glue again or whatever liquid glue or however you like to use your adhesive. And I put that down kind of there. It's, it's not perfect. It's just kind of where I'm going to put it because I'm going to cover up the bottom with this. Then I'm going to pop up the lily because I just want a little dimension there. You can put as many um, dimensionals as you want. That's a personal preference. It would be helpful if I took the thing off so it would actually stick there. Yeah, you can see I really got glue on my hands. That was good. And there we go. And I'm going to pop this up on top of the stem. Um, I'm going to just adhere this. I'm not going to pop this up. 
That's my personal preference. You can do whatever you want, of course. And then I'm just going to adhere this to the card base. So you can see this, you know, I, I maybe stamped a little less. This one I stamped more. I don't like the bottom. I'll keep working on that to get that a little bit cleaner. But you know what? It has a look of fabric. And then on the inside, I just stamped He Has Risen with another lily. The other thing I want to add to this is a couple of pearls. Because I just think it could use... Ah, wow, I'm going to have a couple choices out. I'm debating on the plain... Well, let me try the gold. I wasn't sure. First, I wanted just like white. But I'm thinking I might like some of the gold, like for the stamens. I don't know if that's the correct word. I don't know. I think it is. Um... So just a couple of little gold pearls. I think that just adds a little bit to it. Um, so let's do that with our Take Your Pick tool on both of them. I debated on this one, and now I decided I really did need it. Um, so I hope you give this technique a try. It is not hard, but it's very unique. So try it and let me know what you think. Have a great day.